We talk about this and talk about that. Shut up, stop running out, let's talk about facts. Live a little, laugh a lot, let's have some fun. Listen to Gina, she'll tell you how it's done. Did you know? Good to know. What did you know? Well, now you know. Never know what's gonna happen on the No Filter Show. Loud and proud, funny and cool. Say what you're thinking, that's her only rule. Be the change. Be the change. Come watch the No Filter Show. No Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Online shopping made easy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's my new thing because apparently that's what all the kids say, and I'm getting up to date and up to speed. And they say something about the square. Welcome to my square. <laughs> what is it? Come on, Steve, help me. Brought to you by Squarespace. Brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's what it is, okay? So, my name is Gina Knowles, and we're here with the No Filter Show. Today is my 10th episode in the first season, really excited, and it's me all alone today. So, I get to say everything I want, and you know, I just want to, I have to explain to you that some of you request that I just rant and carry on all day, but believe it or not, even though it's an internet show, they do try to put me in this little box, literally in the square. That's what they do. They put me in the square that is brought to you by. And they tell me that I'm not allowed to say, don't say this, don't say that. You can't say this. You need to be nice. I think I'm nice. I think I'm nice. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about me today and how I became a part of this show and a little bit of my background so you know more about me. Okay? Because I'm always telling you about other people's business. So now I'm going to tell you a little bit about mine. So you don't have to listen to the words on the streets. I tell you it from my mouth. All right? So we're going to be right back. And give me a minute because I run up the stairs and I'm out of breath. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we will be right back. This is in water. <laughs> no Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas. Bank of the Bahamas. Quality Home Center. Dairy Queen. Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place. Hey, hey, boo, what's up? Right, yeah. yeah. You still going to the event? Yeah, I ordered my dress right now. Let me call you back. Okay, good. Me too. This is how it feels to consolidate your debt with Bank of the Bahamas. And this is how it feels to reduce your monthly payments. Come discover the new BOB, offering debt consolidation loans at the lowest rate in town. And guess what? You can get cash in addition to cleaning up your finances. That's how it feels. Apply today for your BOB debt consolidation loan. Terms and conditions apply. This segment is brought to you by Bank of the Bahamas, the Bank of Solutions. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> In my square box. <laughs> it's square something. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to let you know. I promise, as promised. First of all, I've um, been married for 21 years. In 1998, I married my childhood sweetheart. First time I saw him, I knew I was going to marry him. Same as Andrew. A lot of you who do know me, you all know that you've always seen me and Andrew together forever. And 
he never thought we was going to get married. And I used to tell him, we're getting married. That's what's going to happen. And you all know I biggity, right? So it took, a, so it took some time to come around, but then he realized that maybe she is awesome. <laughs> Can we say that? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Love of my life. Still, he still worship the ground he walks on, even though he sets me nuts at times. But we were pretty happy. We have two little redhead kids. And the red hair actually must come from the Irish in us because I did my DNA test the other day. And I'm going to put that up. I'm going to let you all know that I'm all mixed up. However, my mother is 50% um, Chinese. Her dad's Chinese. So I think I have like 27% Chinese. And then a little bit of Indian and Nigerian and all that cool stuff. I'm all mixed up like a pot cake. Proud, proud. And um, what else do you all need to know about me? So my daughter is 14 years old. She, her name is Skyla. And my son is 11. His name is Xander. And they are homeschooled by me. Now I'm going to let you know why I chose to do homeschool. Because a lot of people ask that as well. My kids are all advanced. Um, they're smart. I don't know how they got so smart still blows me away because we always say they're smarter than us. <laughs> Some of the things they ask us to help us in school and I'm like lost on what they're talking about. But we, we, we're very blessed that they are to the level where they're at. And um, what happened was mm, three years ago I was diagnosed with lupus. For those of you who don't know what it is, it is an autoimmune disease. It's quite difficult to explain what you go through. You could look it up. I could show you a little video or something, you know, but it's something that your body basically is fighting against itself. And I feel sad because anybody who has an autoimmune, um, any sort of autoimmune problem, it's really hard to explain because everything always looks fantastic. Um, on the outside, people always go, oh, you're sick. Oh, you have this. Oh, yeah. And they think that sometimes you're faking or you're putting it on. I don't know which crazy, trying hard not to use a bad word, um, person would go and speak on themselves a disease. And especially your autoimmune because it's something within. And when you're having those bad days and um, you having a flare and there's little things that could cause these, you're not you're like, you can't go in the, with lupus specifically, you can't go in the sun. The rain does this certain types of rain. You're not allowed to eat this. You can't have coffee, you can't have alcohol. You can't smoke, you can't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't eat too much chicken because it has too much chromosomes. Can't have red meat, can't have this. And it's like they're whole, taking your whole life away. And when you do go in the sun, because I don't follow order very well, as you can tell, I have a little tan. So like last weekend, I went on a boat. And let me tell you, for three days, I was in bed dead because I didn't listen. And you call the doctor and you say, you need more steroids, right? And he says to you, if you don't listen, what you can do? Feel, just like the children. So it's really hard. So anybody who you happen to know who does have some sort of sickness, let me tell you something. Let he who feels it, knows it. It's really, really tough. And that is why also with all of these shows that I do, I pre-record because sometimes I have really, really bad, not only days, but weeks. And I may be in bed for a full week, so I can't film. So I have to have it pre-recorded because if I'm having a sick day, I need to be able to call, say, Stephen, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to film today. You know? And he goes, yay, I don't have to see Gina. <laughs> That's true? That ain't no true. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, that's that my, my part of that. Uh, that's a big part of my life. And so I started homeschooling my kids because I was like, geez, if I want to die soon, I'm going to spend time with my kids. and I'm going to travel more and I'm going to do a lot more. So people always say, where do you get all this energy from? And how come you're always running around? And why do you always try to save the world? That's just a part of me. I don't even know how I became this person. But I, I do believe that I want everybody to have enjoy life because you have one life to live. I don't know if finding out that I have lupus changed me more actually you think it changed me more no nope, it's still the same still the same so uh, but and i always wanted to travel i always wanted to see the world so i feel like i do i do it a lot more fast yeah, like i, I i'm always, i try to get on the plane as much as possible because i always say it, i'm going to enjoy what life i do have 
there are people, uh, let me tell you the joke about Bahamians, y'all, let me do this joke. So the best is when they find out, oh, how come you're not in the sun? How come you don't, and you say, oh, well, you know, because I don't tell everybody my business. I'm telling you this now so y'all know. I want y'all to know about me, you know. Um, so when I say, well, you know, I have, I was diagnosed with lupus a few years ago. You have lupus? This is a Bahamian. You have lupus? Oh, my God. My friend just died of lupus. Yeah, that's what I get. And I go, wow, that's comforting. Thanks. So, you know, <laughs> so sometimes I wonder. So that, I don't know if that's, and then I was a part of this lupus support group. Did not work because it made me want to commit suicide because every day I would just wake up and then we'll be in this WhatsApp group and then they would tell me how bad everything is. I couldn't take that. And I'm a very uplifting person and I want to have fun. I want to enjoy life and I want to go, go, go. And then my mom, let me tell you something. So my dad has passed away 15 years ago and I have my mom and I'm my mom's only daughter and she lives next door. We're very close and she worries about me. She is a warrior. I call her the warrior. You get it? Warrior, warrior. Yeah. And all she does is worry about me as if I'm still five years old. So she gets upset that I'm going, 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 going all the time. And then she says, you're going to end up in bed. And if you don't, you know, listen, you'll feel. And I feel like saying, stop speaking and put your mouth on me. Why do you do that? Why do moms do that? So yeah, I have a whole lot going on. But I'm going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, we'll continue on some other things. All right? See you in a minute. Come on into the Quality Home Center. You will see the savings from when you enter. Your one-stop department store with so much niceness. Friendly staff, great atmosphere, low prices. They got brand name appliances, furniture, hardware, electronics, home decor, toys and apparel. Shop and save. There's no need to go away. Stay at home and save big. Stop and shop at the Quality Home Center. Home centers when less and is better. Welcome to Doctors Hospital Pharmacy, open 24 hours a day, ensuring both our inpatients and the general public have access to a full-service pharmacy whenever they need it most. At Doctors Hospital, we care about making you feel safe and at home. We know our way around a counter with our team of highly trained, knowledgeable pharmacists available 24 hours a day. We offer a complete range of pharmacy services to all our patients. The pharmacy at Doctors Hospital, open 24 hours a day. This segment is brought to you by Quality Home Center. Spend less, live better. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to No Filter Show with me, Gina Noel. It's only me today. And the reason is because I want you to know about me. So another thing I want to let you know is, believe it or not, I don't cook. And my mother-in-law keeps telling me, stop telling people I don't cook because she says that I do cook. But I probably only cook when she's there. <laughs> or, you know, oh, my husband's not cooking. Because she says, but you know, I, I didn't say I can't cook. So that is where she, Mama Charlie always corrects me. And my mom, too, they always tease me about it because I say I don't cook. I don't like cooking. And I guess I'm blessed because my husband loves cooking. And you know what's funny? It's my husband, so Andrew, and I have these cousins who are foodies, Christina and Lana. And what is so jokey, because when we get together as our, our family is very close knit, knitted. The, and um, we get together, we make sure as cousins, we get together uh, as often as possible. And we have these little WhatsApp, you don't know, we have WhatsApp groups. Everybody have a WhatsApp group for something. So it's so funny because me, we, the, gir the girl cousins, we have a group. And then what, has, what had to happen was, Chris was, it was so funny because she was like, we need to create another group with Andrew. So Andrew was the only guy who was put in a group with the girls because in our relationships, guess what? Andrew does cooking. I don't cook. So it was too jokey where Chris is like, get Andrew in a group. So we had to create this group and it's called three plus one. So he's the plus one. And it's so funny because they always discuss what we're going to eat because I don't cook. And it's like, why am I even this group? I keep telling them, make it just be them three. But anyway, I guess I have to be the one to go buy the stuff. I don't know. I don't even buy the stuff. I hate the food store on top of that. But I'm always in there. Ugh. So the next thing I wanted to say was um, I have to shout out to my family um, who we are. We get together all the time. My mom's um, the Chinese side. Let me tell you something. 
we're very close knitted we are together as much as possible and i love the fact that we are as close as we are so y'all know chinese to stick together and y'all know behemoths to stick together so imagine how clanny our family are i'm not as clanny as a lot of other families and on i want to bring up one day i want to have a competition to see who do you think is the clanniest family because we have some families out there they do everything together I mean, it's crazy. And I look on Facebook and they always have these 1,000 and it's always the same people and it's like 50 of them. It's not like it's like 10. It's all of them. You got graduation, confirmation, weddings, um, funerals. Then you got this, then you got that, then you got, that. Then you got foot, Sunday football and all this stuff and they're always together all the time. I'm like, you only get sick of each other? It's crazy. So let's have a competition and I want to see who can show me the clan. When you send me in for this competition, I want you to prove to me. You have to show me pictures from like over 20 years span of the same people all the time in these pictures that are always together. So we're going to have that competition. I'm going to do that. Now, next question that everybody asks me, why am I not in parliament? Why do I not run? The only thing I want run is my mouth. Okay, let's clear that up. I have no interest to go in parliament because... I don't want someone to try. I'm leashed enough in this little box where they try to tell me I can't say this again. Y'all can imagine me in Parliament. Loretta slapping people. I will punch someone in their face. And I was thinking, if I did go in Parliament, I need to be the speaker because I want to be the one to tell everybody to shut up. Right? I want to say, um, I don't know what you're talking about. This makes no sense. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, because that whole... Uh, hour and a half speech that they could have. It's almost like, you know, that saying that says, um, we're having this meeting when it could have been an email. It's kind of like that. They have these days when they go into parliament and I feel like they're talking about nothing. I don't even watch that. I just watch the clips that they send me on WhatsApp because I can't, I can't take it. Um, I can't take stress of, I just can't. So that's why I'm not in parliament. As well as I did promise my mother, I would never go into politics. I promise her that. And I think that I'm stronger on this side. I am close with a lot of people in Parliament, a lot of people in the government. I try to assist and help where I can. And I think that it's just better for me to be over here. And I don't want to say I don't have a college degree because I don't. But then people say you don't need a college degree to be in Parliament. That's the next thing. I don't even know. We should look into I want to know, Stephen, how many of our MPs don't have degrees? See that? I didn't know that. Travis doesn't have one. I don't even know who Travis is. But Robinson. Travis Robinson. Oh, he's the youngest yeah. parliament that the, the MP that's ever come around. See, I don't let's just say I don't know. I don't follow politics. So if I didn't like grew up with them, I did I don't know him. Shh, we're not gonna talk about that. We're being nice. And um what else do I wanna say? Uh hey, what else do I have to say, Ash? Oh, I love to travel. My goal is to see all of the um, wonders of the world. And I wish the door is open so Miguel could come in because can we pan the camera over to? Oh, so now you see he's disturbing. But can I? Oh man, can I like open the door and let him in? And I want to. I want to. I want to expose him. So you're gonna have to clip this one second. Don't tell him. You think I'm talking about you? He can hear me talking about him. Why? Because he's standing to the door, peeping in. Now he's chewing. Come, come across here. Well, behind the camera? No, no. I want you to walk in front of the camera so everybody can see. Well, he's cheating. Come in the front. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> hey. Watch my commercials because my sponsors will pay my bills. <laughs> no Filter is brought to you by Oasis Shopping Bahamas, Bank of the Bahamas, Quality Home Center, Dairy Queen, Chef Boyardee, Boss, BAF Financial and Insurance, Checkers Cafe, Doctors Hospital, Marathon Vet Clinic, Mesa Grill, Live to Fish, Lowe's Pharmacy, Riley Boys Auto and Car Rental, Ultra Games, and The Pediatric Place.
Hey DQ fans, everyone knows DQ has the best sweet treats, but we also have delicious and affordable food options too. Presenting the DQ $7 Fan Meal. For just $7, choose from one of three delicious oven hot sandwiches, chicken bacon ranch, grilled chicken, or turkey BLT. Plus enjoy a DQ sundae, a soda, and a chip, all for just $7. This is one ridiculous deal you don't want to miss. DQ, it's fan food, not fast food. Phones are good, but why have one good thing when you can have everything? Get unlimited local and international calling with Trio. Get everything. Only $99 a month gets you phone, internet, and cable. That's everything you need for $99 a month. Ask for Trio. Call 601-2200 or email residential sales at cablebahamas.com. Rev, you and us together. This is heavy. Plan the best day of your life today. Check us out at www.live2.fish or on Facebook, Instagram, and TripAdvisor. Email us at info at live2.fish. This segment is brought to you by Dairy Queen. Fine food, not fast food. So, um, everybody back on the travel situation. Uh, I've been around... Um, the states a good amount and then we stretched off my husband never really liked the plane so i had to get him used and i did daily steps for any of you who want to know how this works to get your spouse on a plane because some are scared of flying so what i did was i he oh he'll go on a boat to egypt let me tell you that i'm not doing that because i get seasick so what i did originally we did the whole of florida then we did atlanta then we did Texas, then we did LA, and that's what we did. And then we hit China, Greece, Ireland, Italy, all those far places. I think that she's dying over here. One of the favorite things, um, more coolest things that I've seen and learning about the cultures probably was when I went to China. I learned that, which I thought, can you imagine this as Bahamians? A part of their culture is because they only have one child that you actually, a family, if they only have a girl, when they marry into their, they marry their daughter to a boy, they can actually, I don't know what they pay them or the, what the agreement is, but the boy would take the girl's last name. That's crazy. Can you imagine a Bahamian doing that? Never. And um, I, was, I was an old and married an old. That's another thing y'all didn't know. Yes, I married my cousin, whatever, my brother. Y'all could say whatever you want to say. I don't care. Um, but I can tell you that my kids are smart and they're pretty, <laughs> so I'm straight. And, but in China, they could actually get the family to switch the name, to carry on the name. That's crazy, right? And it's so much we I married an old, married an old, yeah. I even had to go to the passport office just for Mr. and Mrs. to make my husband happy. And I've actually been a, a him knows more than my own knows or something, eh? Yeah. So, the next thing is, um, how did the No Filter Show come about? I'm, I'm answering questions that people always ask me. Um, Ashley's over here telling me the most wanted questions that are inboxed to me. So, the No Filter Show came about, actually, it's so funny, from John Gomez. He was, every time I go on someone's show and somebody watches me, and they always say, you're so animated, we got this energy from, and blah, blah, blah. And um, I think he was the first one who said, do you know, you know, you should have your own show. This was years ago. I was like, I don't have time for no show. And I can't, you all can't be telling me what to say and what to do and all that. And then he, he was like, no, you know, you could do, you know, you could be you. Cause, and I kept saying, if I could be me, then I don't have a problem with it. 
And then we went where they was gonna, they wanted me to do like a whole daily show. I was like, hell no, that's a lot of work. And believe it or not, this is a lot of work. This putting on the makeup, gotta put on the clothes, gotta put on a special bra to go with a special shirt, and this, and make sure this jewelry's right, and this matches, and your hair is in place, and you got people like Steven, my hair can be poking up in the air, and he doesn't even care. No, at all. He says he does. I got the biggest zit shining. What? Oh, he'll. <laughs> he says he only sees my heart. He's good. I must say, he's good. That's my bear. Yeah. So, and then, so, so that, that's really how the No Filter Show came about. People kept saying you should have your own show. We talked about it for many years. And then when I stopped working because I was sick, and I was looking for something to do because I'm a person who can't keep still. And the doctor even called in my husband and was like, Andrew, you got to keep Aunt Gina still. She can't be working every day. She needs a rest. And she can't go in the sun. She can't do this. She can't do this. And I was like, oh, my goodness, what am I going to do? So other than the homeschooling, I do this once a week. I love it. And it's keeping me entertained. And at least the good thing is if I get bored throughout the day, I start thinking of things of what I'm going to say on the show, what I'm going to do, and who I'm going to bring on, and what I can talk about, and things that... Piss me off. Yeah. So, talking about piss off, here is something I want to say. Can somebody please explain to me the Madeira Street New Road? It's not new. It's probably been there for like a month now. I think about a month. Renola, my hairdresser, works on that road. And she, uh, she I went to her to get my hair done. And she said, she reminded me to bring it up because I remember saying, so if any of you have not been down Madeira Street, they've decided to paint a middle lane. It's a whole middle lane. It's really, so now Madeira Street, the entire street has three lanes. Steven's telling me he hasn't seen it yet. So I'm trying to describe it. So it has three lanes. So it used to have two lanes, but now it has three. However, the middle lane it's confusing on what it's for because there's no arrows pointed into, you know, like in the States, you could have this middle lane and you drive up and you see an arrow turning left and then right in front of it, there's an arrow turning right and right in front of that, there's another arrow. So it's, it's, it's clearly marking which way you should be on this road. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me explain what we behaviors are doing. That has suddenly become the express lane. So no matter if you're coming from east or west, you would suddenly see a car, whoom, fly past you because they suddenly think that that lane was made for them. It's not for the uh, emergency vehicles, the ambulance. The, no, 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 no. Everybody's using this lane. Please, whoever is responsible. Steven, I know you know who's responsible for painting that road. Which, which, which MP? Yeah, sorry. Ministry of Works. You know. Desmond Bannister. Yes. I think that falls under you. Please, somebody tag him and let them know what's... What, what, what. That has to be painted. If not, they're gonna wait for someone to die. I tried to cross the street and nobody's gonna knock down 10 times, not three, 10, okay? We have to fix that. Okay, I think that's it. Anything else on my little, my little um, questionnaire? No? And um, that's my time up. I want everybody to know that I have to thank all of my sponsors because without them, there will be no me. So if you're interested in sponsoring as well, please be sure to contact us at no filter show at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook no filter show Instagram no filter show YouTube no filter show Instagram I said that already yeah, yeah. Facebook all up I guess it all rings together no filter show okay and I hope that you all have a fantastic summer I'll be back be safe be the change you want to see it's okay to be nice you know to be mean it's stink you know smile be happy and you know what I want to say too, stop talking behind people back. Yes. If you have something to say, man up and say it. Yes. That's what I want to say. Anything else? I think I'm good. Promotional consideration provided by... Oasis Shopping and Quality Home Center, 